my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Memories by Maroon 5 on the guitar. This is my very first patron picks which is my tutorial that I let my patrons on Patreon vote for every single month and for the month of February they voted for Memories by Maroon 5 which is why I am doing this full length tutorial for you guys so if you want some voting power in the songs that you'd like to see me do on my channel make sure to check out my Patreon which will be linked below. And guys before we jump into the tutorial I did want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor Black Mountain picks. Black Mountain picks are thumb picks that use an innovative spring design to hold the pick securely to your thumb. I've loved using these recently because not only are they super comfortable, affordable, and durable, but they don't slide or flip around on your thumb like other thumb picks I've used in the past. These picks fit multiple playing styles and are perfect for when you want to alternate between picking and strumming with ease. That makes them great for beginners and professionals alike no matter what stage you're at in your guitar journey. Best of all, you'll get fast shipping and awesome customer service with every purchase. So if you're interested in trying these out for yourself, make sure to check out the link in my description and never lose another pick while playing your guitar again. So first things first, I am using an electric in this video, however you can follow this through exactly the same way with an acoustic guitar and it'll work exactly the same. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into how to play this song. So I have my guitar in standard tuning and I also have a capo on the 4th fret that just makes the chords and everything a little bit easier to play. On top of that, you only need to know 5 chords to play through this whole song. We do have a bar chord in there which is that B minor chord, so this is a great one to practice bar chords with. And I also have one strumming pattern and one picking pattern to show you guys to play through this So let's go ahead and jump into what those chords look like Alright guys, so I've zoomed in so we can take a closer look at these chords Like I said, you only need to know five to play through the whole song And the first one is G, which looks like this And sounds like this After that we've got our D chord which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we have our E minor which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we have our bar chord which is our B minor chord that looks like this and sounds like this. Last chord you need to know is C, which looks like this and sounds like this. And those are the only chords you need to know to play this song. Alright guys, so once you have those chords memorized, make sure to take a few minutes to practice transitioning between them. The beautiful thing about this song is that this chord progression is the exact chord progression for the entire song, so once you can transition between the chords in this order, you should be good for the rest of it. Um, but with that being said, once you have those transitions down, let's go ahead and jump into some strumming patterns that I'd like to show you for this song. If you're familiar with any of my other tutorials, you'll know that the very first strumming pattern is kind of a practice pattern. I always suggest beginners start out like this or people who are having trouble singing and playing guitar at the same time. So what you want to do is just do one single down strum on the beat for every chord change throughout the entire song and just kind of practice that to make sure that you know where those chord changes are going to be. So let me just walk you through one little chorus to see how this works. Um, I've got my G chord on because that's the very first chord in the song and all you want to do is strum it down once. Switch to your next chord, D, E minor, B minor, then we've got C, back to G, back to C, and on D. Alright? And like I said earlier, the entire song follows this progression, so as long as you can do those chords in that progression order, then you should be good. But let's go ahead and put some singing with it just so you can see how I want you to practice this. One, two, ready, go. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories. Bring back you. Alright, and so basically 
basically I only want you to do this if you're very new to guitar or you're having trouble singing and playing at the same time. It's really useful to be able to know what word you're singing whenever you're doing those transitions and things like that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the actual strumming pattern that I like to use for this song. So as you can see, the actual strumming pattern I would suggest using for this song is kind of a long one. It can be a little intimidating. You can see it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, and it does sound a little something like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now don't let the length of this strumming pattern intimidate you at all. We are going to break it down a little bit to make it a little bit easier to digest. So let's break that rhythm down a little bit. I'm going to count out the beats and I want you to jump in whenever you feel comfortable, okay? So I've got my G chord on. We're just going to stay on G chord to get the rhythm down. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down. All right, great. If you found that a little hard to keep up with me, no worries, just make sure to go a little bit slower, practice a little bit slower until you can build up your tempo, until you can get it at tempo, which is what we were just doing. Um, but now the other thing I wanted to show you about this strumming pattern is this strumming pattern is not gonna change throughout the song, but what we're gonna do is we're going to switch our chords in the middle of the strumming pattern, okay? So after the first little triplet, down, down, up, we're gonna switch chords and then carry out the rest of the strumming pattern with our second chord. So let me go ahead and show you an example of this. If we're going from our G to our D chord, because those are the first two chords in the song, we would do G on the first triplet, down, up, up, then you'd switch to D and finish out the rest of the pattern. Down, up, up, down, down, up. All right? So without stopping, we've got... Did you hear that? Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. G, D. All right. So once you get used to switching those chords in the middle of the pattern, the rest of the song is going to finish or is going to follow that exact same pattern. So we've got G to D, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Our next two chords are E minor and B minor, and they follow the exact same progression. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then we've got C to G, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then C to D, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. All right, so that's the whole strumming pattern. You can use it for the entire song. So let me go ahead and show you once without stopping how we would make those chord transitions in the middle of the pattern. We've got G, D, E minor, D minor, So I know that this pattern can be a little bit um, challenging for some people, especially if you're new to strumming or new to the guitar. So make sure to pause the video and practice at your own tempo until you can get those chord transitions in the middle and get it up to speed and everything. But like I said, you can use the strumming pattern for the entire song. However, if you are familiar with the song, there's more of a kind of like picking line that you would hear towards the beginning and kind of all throughout the song. So let's go ahead and jump into what I would do for picking. Bring back all the memories and the memories bring back memories bring back you. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain when I believed in forever all right guys, so I've zoomed in so we can take a closer look at this picking pattern and before we begin I do just want to point out that I actually like to number my strings It just makes more head sense in my head So I hope it does in yours as well So you can see here my low E is six and it goes five four three two one all the way to my high E Which is that one. Okay, so for this picking pattern I will be referring to the strings as numbers just so you know uh, But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to play this picking pattern 
So basically what you want to do is you want to take your thumb and keep that on the bottom three strings, the bass strings, okay? E, A, and D, six, five, and four. Then you want to take your pointer finger and put that on the third G string. Your middle finger is going to go on your second B string, and your ring finger is going to go on your top E string, your high E string, okay? And throughout this picking pattern, these three fingers are never going to move from these three strings. The only finger you're going to move is your thumb because your thumb's going to be covering the bass note. So your thumb's going to go back and forth between six, five, and four based on the chord that you're playing. So if we look at our G chord, the bass note in that is your sixth, okay? So for your G string, we're going to have six, three, two, one. Those are the fingering numbers. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to just go six, three, and then you're going to pick two and one at the same time. All right, so we've got six, three, two, one. All right, and that's how we do that. Then for the next chord, which is our D chord, you're going to move your thumb over to the fourth string since that's the bass note of the D chord. And this time what you want to do is pick your thumb by itself. Then you want to pick all three of your other fingers at the same time. Okay, so for D we've got four, three, two, one, all at once. So notice how that's a little bit different than the G chord. G chord we've got six and three individually and then two, one together. Then on D we've got four by itself and then three, two, one, all together. And that pattern's gonna apply for the rest of these chords as well. So we've got G, then we've got D. Then we've got E minor, that's gonna be played like G. We've got six, three, two, one. Then we have B minor, and that's gonna be played like the D, except our fifth um, string is gonna be on our thumb, okay? So we're gonna play five, then three, two, one, all together. All right? So E minor, six, three, two, one. B minor, five, three, two, one. Okay, we're halfway there. Let's go ahead and go to our C chord. On your C chord, your thumb's gonna stay on the fifth string, and we're gonna play this like the G and E minor. Five, three, two, and one together. Okay, then go to your G chord, and we're on six, three, two, one, and we're gonna play six by itself, then three, two, one together. So C is, then G, then you go back to C and that's played the same way again. Five, three, two, one. Then go to D, four, and then pick all three. Three, two, one. So the whole thing is like this. So if you notice the pattern, we're going back and forth between two individual picks and then two together versus one individual pick and then three together. So let's do that one more time on my G. We've got six, three, two, one, D, four, three, two, one, E minor, six, three, two, one, B minor, five, three, two, one, C, five, three, two, one, G, six, three, two, one, Back to C, five, three, two, one, to D, four, three, two, one. All right, and then the last thing you wanna do for this little picking pattern is after every other chord, you wanna kind of mute the strings. So on the D, B minor, G, and D chords, you want to kind of slap the strings to mute them after you play them. So we've got G to D, and then mute, okay? So that's that whole rhythm there. And you wanna do that for the rest of them as well. So we've got E minor to B minor. And then we've got a mute there. C, G, mute. C, D, mute. All right, so let's do that whole thing. And that 
picking pattern, the beautiful thing is that you can apply that for the entire song. It repeats itself over and over and over again for the whole song. So if you want to do picking for the whole song, you totally could. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. All right, so that's just a little preview, but the whole, the picking pattern works for the whole song. I have tried it, it sounds great. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put everything together so we can do the playthrough. Memories bring back memories, bring back you. Do, 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 do. Memories bring back you. All right, guys, so once you have those chords memorized, you've practiced transitioning between them, you've done those strumming patterns and that picking pattern if you wanted to, let's go ahead and put all of that together so we can play through the whole song of Memories by Maroon 5. Good luck. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day Ay. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday Ay. Everything gon' be alright Go and raise a glass and say Ay. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you do 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you There's a time that I remember When I never felt so when I felt all of the hatred was too powerful to stop Now my heart feel like an ember and it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya and you know I'll never drop yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday Everything will be alright, go and raise a glass and say Alright guys, so that was my tutorial for how to play Memories by Maroon 5 on the guitar. If this helped you, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to subscribe to my channel, that way you never miss out on any new tutorials. If you're feeling extra generous, make sure to leave a comment down below as well because that does help the engagement on my videos to help get these free tutorials out to more people. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up, I'll pull you guys on things you want to see, and this is also where I do giveaways every now and then, so make sure to follow me on there if you would like to. Too. And then another huge thank you to Black Mountain Picks for sponsoring this video, as well as all of my patrons on Patreon. I have all of their names listed right now on screen. These are the people who voted on Memories as my very first ever Patron Picks tutorial. So if you want voting power in the next month's Patron Picks, make sure to check out my Patreon link down below. 
All right, but thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope this helped and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye. Yeah, 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 oh. Memories bring back, memories bring back you.